Hi! This is Wanderlust Japan. Going to visit a Japanese temple but not knowing how to pray. Although some temples show how to greet with a board written in detail, you may find that most temples don't actually have one. This time we are showing how to pray at a Japanese temple. And also, a famous traditional floating flower art, Hana Chozu. In this temple, Horinji Temple. We asked the chief priest here about the proper way to pray at a Japanese temple. He said different temples may have different ways to pray, but most are the same. If you are not sure, please feel free to ask at the temples. Let's go! Before going to a temple, let me clarify that there are Shinto shrines, like Meiji Jingu in Harajuku or Tokyo Daijingu in Itabashi, and Japanese temples like Sen Soji in Asakusa or Zojoji near Tokyo Tower. They may look similar, but they are totally different. The way to pray is also different. This time we are talking about a Japanese temple. After getting off at Waseda Station, you can cross the road and see another temple, Rusen in, walk straight and you can see the entrance of Harinji. When you enter a temple, please remember not to step on the threshold of the gate which is considered very rude. After entering the temple, prevent walking in the middle of the road which is considered disrespectful and inappropriate, because the center of the road is believed to be reserved for the gods or spirits that reside at the temple. Before praying at a temple, please remember to wash your hands at this Chozuya, a water basin or font that is commonly found at the entrance of shrines and temples in Japan for ritual purification. You can use the bamboo ladle to scoop water and pour it over your hands and mouth, cleansing yourself of impurities and preparing yourself for prayer or worship. Although Harinji itself is not very big, it is very nice. It is decorated with pretty flowers everywhere. Hanachozu here is also very famous. Hanachozu is a kind of traditional flower art practiced at temples. As many temples and shrines have prohibited the practice of hand washing in water basins during the pandemic, this kind of floating flower decoration spreads across temples and shrines throughout the country to decorate the water basins with beautiful flowers instead. Let me show you how to pray at a Japanese temple in the right way. 1. Ring the bell three times. At Harinji, ring the bell three times to tell the Buddha you came here. 2. Throw your coin into the wooden offering box. Prepare a coin for Osai Sen, which means a monetary offering made at a Shinto shrine or Buddhist temple, Osai Sen represents discarding your own desires. Throwing Osai Sen can be seen as part of spiritual practice. It is called Kisha, which is an act of joyfully giving while abandoning your own desires. Usually, the Japanese throw a 5 yen coin, which is a number word mnemonic meaning bond and luck, as there, Osai Sen. 3. Hold your palms together without making any sound. Unlike what you used to do in a shrine, you do not need to clap in a temple. 4. Make a wish. I wished for world peace this time. 5. Bow once. Only one time is enough for praying in a temple. 6. Appreciate the connection with Buddha or with the world. Be grateful for the connection with everything in the world. After praying, let's go to see what you can buy here. They are selling two kinds of omamori, three kinds of kiri goshuin, normal written goshuin and collection books of goshuin. Goshuin is a type of stamp or seal that is used to certify a visit to a Shinto shrine or Buddhist temple in Japan. It is a special souvenir that is highly valued by many visitors, as it serves as a record of their pilgrimage or spiritual journey. They have three kinds of kiri goshuin in total, dragon, phoenix, and hana chozu. This kind of goshuin is quite rare, not many temples have this. It is so beautiful. We bought the phoenix one. It is so beautiful when you place it under the sun. It can be a wonderful souvenir too. All kinds of Goshuans may change from time to time. You can check their website to see what is new. Let's see what we have got today. We have a Goshuin Cho in yellow and a Phoenix Kiri E Goshuin. Kiri E looks so good under the blue sky. When I opened my Goshuin Cho, I found they have already written a Goshuin inside the book.
If you are still confused about how to pray at a Japanese temple, please feel free to leave us a comment, we will do our best to answer you. Is it the first time you see a Hana Chozu? It is getting more and more popular in Japan. The very first Hana Chozu is in Kyoto, Yanagui Dani Kan Nan, started a few years ago. If you are not planning to come to Japan, you can try to make your own Hana Chozu at home. It seems good too. If you find our video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.